It is the 18th of the 11th, 2011. And this is today's climate change update. We're going to start off tonight on SOT.net. Last of 91 whales stranded in Australia and New Zealand dies. Rescuers have been unable to save the last surviving sperm whale on the separate mass strandings in Australia and New Zealand that have seen 91, di 91 whales die since the weekend. Very sad indeed. Restless underwater volcano disrupts life on Canary Island. Zeta Madrid steaming magma is bubbling onto the sea surface. The earth shakes and the smell of sulfur floats in the air. For over a month, residents on the Spanish Canary Island, El Yaro, have lived with an active underwater volcano that not only poses a security threat, but also scares off tourists and endangers, and endangers the inhabitants' livelihoods. Uh, they're saying the volcanic eruptions could continue for weeks, Civil Protection Science Representative Carmen Lopez said this week. However, the situation has been deemed safe enough for the 550 evacuated residents from the fishing village, uh, La Rastinga, to return home, though the island was still being hit by earthquakes. Crews seek survivors as southwest storm death toll rises to six. A death toll from a storm system that spawned several possible tornadoes has slammed the southeast and has risen to at least six, officials said Thursday, as search crews went out to look for more victims and survivors. Suspected tornadoes were reported Wednesday in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and South Carolina. A severe weather also hit Georgia. Here's a crazy story. Thousands of piranhas invade popular Brazilian tourist beach. Thousands of flesh-eating piranhas have infested a beach popular to tourists in western Brazil and have bitten at least 15 unweary swimmers. And they're saying uh, take the precautions because all these people are used to piranhas down there. And if you get bit, get out of the water before you bleed too much. That's crazy. Uh, Guatemala back-to-back -back earthquakes hit within minutes of each other. A 5.1 and a 5.0 magnitude. And we have another 5.7 magnitude earthquake rattles the coast of Ecuador. Uh, they're reporting cracks in the houses and uh, shaking buildings, but no real damage uh, reports in yet on that. Over to geology news quick. Uh, just a quick reminder, the, the Leonid meteor shower tonight. Tonight is expected to be good for observing the Leonid meteor shower that is peaking this week. After midnight is the best to watch. I think I'm going to go out after that, make this video, and try to time-lapse that, but I'm not sure my camera's set up for that kind of thing, so no promises, but I'm going to go try it anyway. Uh, RSOE tonight, um, of course they have the El Yaro uh, report up. Flooding in Thailand. we got a forest fire in the state of New Zer Jersey, Woodland Park. Um, of course, the extreme weather in Alabama, uh, tornadoes in Mississippi, and uh, they had a report out on the the Iceland volcano came out today that uh, last month's numbers in the month of October uh, they had over 500 earthquakes, 380 of those earthquakes were within the caldera uh, up underneath the glacier that's that is Katla, and. Um, I believe seven were above 3.0 in magnitude, but they were saying tens in the 2.0 range. So a uh, very active month for Katla, very active indeed. And finally tonight, let's go ahead and go over to the radiation stuff. Um, got a nuclear event out of Ohio, uh, Oak Harbor Davis Base Nuclear Power Station. The RSOE is reporting they had a, a coolant leak. And um, that uh, they had it under control, this is according to the RSOE, and uh, that they, right at the very last line of the, of the story, it goes on about how they found a hairline crack uh, in the reactor containment wall uh, while it was shut down, and they are leaving it shut down to investigate this hairline crack in the structure. Um, as far as... Uh, RSOEs um, on the European um, iodine-131 exposure clouds going out. 
Uh, apparently, Hungary is blaming um, some pharmaceutical company, uh, but as, um, some experts are saying that can't be it because there's way too much of it for this light thing going on. And, uh, of course, you know, the madness continues. Over to e, &E News tonight. Um, radiation precautions for areas near Seattle, Vancouver, and Portland. Oh, that was the story I put out last night about you might want to wash your shoes I will provide a link to that specific story and what they have new tonight is uh, hold on a second I backed it up I shot somebody in Washington a link uh, right before I made this video so tonight we got new local TV. They believe radioactive water is leaking from the top of the vessel at the North Carolina nuclear power plant I just told you about. Significant because it goes directly through the reactor core. And you remember the story on the RSOE said something about a hairline crack in the containment. So uh, definitely something need to pay attention going on in North Carolina. Um, Kyoto, number of births declined significantly in Fukushima and Tokyo between April and June. ABC calls radiation plume over Europe massive, but harmless. IAEA now claims hungry lab likely source of iodine-131. Extremely unlikely, says director. So I don't know if they're looking for a scapegoat or uh, what's going on here. International NRC emails on March 5th. Are we still looking at a possible total meltdown and big release uh, from Fukushima? A U.S. regulator was debating whether level 4 or 5 accident ended up level 7, the highest. Uh, Time.com. Fukushima dangers may not be as grave as we first feared. Only 10 people survived had high levels of radiation, says the study. Only 10% of Chernobyl release. We have a disturbing photo of an 84-year-old retired teacher pepper sprayed in the Seattle um, protests. She expressed opposition to nuclear power plants in the paper. They have a video on that and a very horrific uh, photo of an 84-year-old lady with uh, pepper spray all over her face. Evergreen leaves with cesium up to 2,200,000 becquerels per kilogram, 10 times more than deciduous trees. Be careful during the holidays. Wow. Study March of Japan's east north, northeast likely contaminated yet included no radiation data before March 19th when explosions spread massive amounts of fallout. Experts on iodine in Europe. Something very unpleasant has happened. Either a serious accident or reactor emergency required venting radioactive substances. And uh, we got a truck with nuclear fuel rods wrecks on Memphis Highway after being rear-ended. No fuel rods fell off the truck, but no words on damage. So that's about all I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. I appreciate all the support I can get. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Good night.